Hi, Chad. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? How are you feeling with the forum? This is the first time you're here. Do you want to give us your impressions? It's been great. I mean, yes, it's my first time here. And uh, definitely an interesting crowd. And uh, I've been having a lot of fun. I had a chance to meet a lot of interesting people and uh, uh, have some great discussions. Any highlight you want to tell us about? Oh, well, I had a chance to speak with uh, Peter Gabriel uh, the other night at a dinner and uh, you know, talk to him about his organization, Witness, and what they're doing and the potential for us to, to help them you know, spread their message too. We're just coming from a, a plenary session on Web 2.0 where everything that was discussed was about uh, the shifting power equation and how uh, tools like yours are changing the world. Do you want to tell us something about that? Well, what we're doing, we're building a platform where everyone can participate. And uh, that, in turn, is giving everyone a voice. Uh, we've been successful because we weren't making editorial decisions of what was popular, uh, what people would like. We, uh, we allowed our audience to decide that. So everyone had a chance to put a video on our site. Our audience would interact with that by viewing it, by commenting on it, and sharing it with others. And, and, and through that process, um, they were able to define uh, what they wanted to find and what, you know, what type of service we would provide for the rest of the community. You were sharing the stage with Bill Gates, Katarina Fake, I mean, everyone that is actually related to the internet. And they were all very interested in knowing uh, your, your perspective on the future. How do you see the future? Do you think actually, how do you see it coming? Well, the future in terms of uh, the internet or the future in terms of video? Okay. Or both? Well, both? Yeah. Uh, and the world, actually. And, and the world? And the future of the world. Okay. That's a, <laughs> that's a big question. Um, uh, what we're doing, we're just concentrating on providing the best service for our users. So for us, the future is, is just going to be improved product, and we're going to improve the product by listening to them. Um, the you know, Internet in general, I, I think, is, is where we exist. And the, the Internet's always been about communication, and I think the tools for communication will just improve. Um, and that, in turn, will, will help the world. You just actually had a conversation about how are tools like yours going to be uh, changing business models, societal uh, ways of communicating with everyone. Uh, you had all the decision makers of Davos listening to you. How do you see their uh, impact? About How do you see the changes in business models, in, in soci so societal changes coming? Well, well I think um, they're just hearing the message now that uh, the internet is truly evolving into a, a platform for communication and that they'd be able to harness that energy uh, to have their views and their messages expressed to the world. We're having here at the World Economic Forum an experiment that is actually made with uh, Jeff Jarvis, Ariana Huffington, BBC, The Guardian, Louis Lemour, where we actually are trying to enlarge the conversations to allow the people to see uh, and interact with Davos, and we call it the Davos Conversation, and it's a project that actually is trying to build bridges mainly through video and incorporating all sorts of content so that people can interact. Mm -hmm. Well, well I, think, I think that's great because um, that's, that's exactly how our site became successful uh, by creating this platform where people could share video. And I think to the extent that you can incorporate that to help spread uh, the messages that are here for the World Economic Forum um, is just a, a powerful um, solution, a powerful way of engaging a new audience. And how do you recommend the World Economic Forum actually to have, or how do you recommend, how do you see that those conversations can be meaningful and not only you know how do you, how do we make them meaningful the conversations that are happening here all well, the conversations between the outside and the inside if we're having having this video bridge and if we if we would be to extend them how do we make them meaningful well they'll be able to participate because they'll they'll actually uh, be able to give you feedback. They'll be able to ask you questions, um, and this will just inform uh, what's happening here. The people that are here inform them even more of what's happening in the outside world. It's, there's so many issues and um, uh, situations that people are dealing with that it's hard to uh, stay up on everything. But I think to the extent that you can take this feedback, listen to the people, and to react and improve a situation, I think is is better for everyone. Do you think the world is flat? Um, Increasingly, with the connections uh, of the internet and um, you know just travel in general, just makes it po possible for people just to stay um, more connected than ever. 
So my invitation is for you to come and watch www.davosconversation.org. And we have issued invitations to all your uh, YouTube communities and different video communities, social network communities. We're, we're asking them to react to us, to the conversations. We are uploading most of the sessions that we have here. There are so many webcast sessions that they could see. So we would love to have your communities coming and send us their video reactions, their video ideas. And the only thing is they have to tag it Davos 07. So my invitation is for you to visit the site. Great. I'll check it out. I'm looking forward to the videos. Thank you. Thanks.